Hey guys, Amber here, and today I bring to you all another My Geek Box unboxing. Right, the box is the same like always, so um, there's nothing to it but to just open it up, I guess, and let's just see what we've got for this month. Yeah, sweet. Alright, the classic plastic once again oh oh okay what oh right okay interesting so uh the first thing i see is a revenge of the 800 foot astro ape t-shirt and uh it looks a bit uh, crazy. Oh, where are we? There we go, that's better. So yeah, it looks a bit crazy because, because my friends, it comes with, they look a bit flimsy, but uh, it comes with some uh, 3D glasses. Wow, this looks really, uh, that is pretty sweet. Oh, that is cool. Obviously, you you guys can't see this, so it's, you know, sorry. But um, that looks really cool. I wonder if, will it? I'm not even gonna try. So yeah, I've got this funky looking Astro Ape. You've got to put glasses on to see it 3D, 3D t-shirt. So that's cool. That's interesting. And that's just the first item. Next item. Hmm. A few things left. Next thing, Pint Size Heroes Horror. Ta -da. And it's in a blind bag, so I don't know if I want to open it or not this to actually see all the characters that you could get I don't know who I'd want okay no I do um, Pinhead definitely Pennywise looks cute oh I don't know actually I think any of these would be cute I don't know if I want to open it though mm, might leave it the next thing I see is a Hulk pen which is cute. Will you focus? Yes? No? Oh my god, it's not that difficult to focus. Yeah! Ta da! Oh, no. Ta da! <laughs> yeah, so it's a pen. The Incredible Hulk vinyl figure styled pen. Next item. Oh hey! It's Ready Player One things again! <laughs> Still haven't watched the film! <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm really bad. Um, I say I'll watch something or do whatever and then I never do it. But uh, these, are, these are fancy 3D coasters. This has got a, a 3D theme going on right here. I'm liking it. These coasters do look fancy. Wait, let me just show you before I open it. So that's what it looks like. Shabam, shabam. These are all the coasters you get. This looks cool at the back, Ready Player One. I don't know, the reflection of everything <laughs> behind the camera doesn't really do good for that bit there. Ooh. I think you can kind of see the 3D-ness going on right here. I think. These do sound really cool though. <laughs> you know when you get something that's like, I guess holographic, so it moves and it's like that weird plastic thing, like on rulers, so then you go like this. See, I love that sound, but I know some people hate it, so if you don't like that sound, then I'm sorry. Yeah, if I'd watch the film, then I'd appreciate these a lot more. Again, I said that in the last video, I think. 
same phrase, different video. <laughs> And the last item is the Gamer's Survival Guide. Get game fit before it's game over. Level up with this guide for gamers written by gamers. Find out how to get fit without putting down your controller. Discover tips for maximising a perfect gaming day. Apply video game logic to the real world. Even learn how to achieve gaming zen. Get ready to gamify your life. That is great. Gives you a brief history of video games, the ideal gaming setup, snack battles. There's a lot of stuff. I'm not going to read them all out because we're here all day. But there's a lot to go through in this book. The ideal gaming setup, putting your games in order, getting the perfect screen, etc, etc. And snack battles, finding the right fuel for your game night. So, hmm, they've got sushi as a snack battle and frozen grapes. Now, no word of a lie, frozen grapes are bloody delicious. They're kind of like mini sorbets in your mouth. Don't rate the white ones so much, it's like the red, the red grapes are where it's at. But yeah, I suggest trying frozen grapes, but don't leave them in the freezer for too long because they go really skanky. Ugh. But um, no, I agree with the snack battles. Pizza, cookies, sweets, sushi, nah, don't know about muesli bar. Muesli bar or frozen grapes. This is alright. How to find new gaming friends. Sweet. This is an interesting book to read. I'll give it a quick browse through. I don't really play loads of games. I'm one of those people who uses their console for a TV. <laughs> well, you know, with Netflix and stuff, you can't use a console for a TV. But you know what I mean, right? It will be a useful book, I think. That is everything in the box, my friends. And um, this tells you what was in the box and I can use these glasses again I'm feeling all Doctor Who right here to look at this little little thing it's like you want to poke it because you know I don't know yeah wasn't that bad this month um interesting to see what next month will be like uh ta -da! Hopefully you enjoyed my video guys, if you did do, you can always give it a like, comment, what was your favourite item in the box? Uh, mine will probably have to be the t-shirt for the 3D glasses factor. Honestly, I'm finding, I'm finding the Hulk pen quite cute, I think that would be a second. Can you take, no that was like, that is solidly stuck on. And it's a nice black ink too, like my soul. Um, yeah, so t-shirt, pen. Honestly, I think maybe the book and the pen. I know, you know, out of these, probably this is better, but probably because it's purple and it's Hulk and he looks angrily cute. Um, although, yeah, this is cool. And it even tells you how to get a job in games. <laughs> it does It does actually give you exercises. Yeah, no, this is good. Actually, you know what? I think they will be my top favourite. So then Hulk can still be my second favourite. Technically third favourite, but you know what I mean. I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy the rest of your day or evening. And I will see you on my next video. I won't actually see you, you'll see me, but you know what I mean. Anyway, bye. Get ready to gamify your life!